A wild ride at a Billings Park. I, I had no time to think. A pregnant Billings woman needs your help after an ATV ends up inside her vehicle and on her lap, landing her in the hospital. And I just really hope that this young man gets caught because, you know, nobody deserves to be in the hospital. And sounding the alarm about puppy poachers. One of them was, hey, I think we have your dog, but I'm going to need money for a vet before I can confirm it was your dog. Dog nappings are on the rise, and some are being asked to even fork over ransom money to get their canines back. Your MTN News starts right now. From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN 530 News. Well, good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us on this Wednesday. I'm Russ Riesinger. And I'm Andrea Lutz. Imagine this. You're sitting inside your car at a city park with the rear hatch open when all of a sudden an SUV doing wheelies ends up in your vehicle and right on top of you. Sounds almost too bizarre to believe, but it actually happened to one Billings woman. And making matters worse, she's eight weeks pregnant. Our Haley Monaco caught up with her at Billings Clinic where she is recovering. It's a story you'll only see here on MTN. What was supposed to be a fun day here at Terry Park quickly turned upside down for one family when they say they were involved in a shocking hit and run where an ATV actually ended up in the back of their SUV. But it was this bright sunny day, you know, and kids were wanting to play and it was just a regular day to us. Monday was a regular day for this family of six until it wasn't. It ended with Princess Big Man laying in a hospital bed. And then ATV came after me. Big Man is eight weeks pregnant and got hot while she and her family were relaxing at Terry Park, so she decided to lie down for a bit in the back end of the family's Dodge Durango with the hatch still open. That's when she says she heard something heading her way. As soon as I sat up almost fully is when I saw the ATV start coming at me almost full speed. In a matter of seconds, an ATV doing wheelies was literally in the back of her SUV and on her chest. And I had my right arm to block my face because the wheels were still turning. Big man's husband, Joel Morales, was taking their son to the restroom across the park when he heard the commotion. And I turn around and there's an ATV stuck in the back of my car trying to get out. Big man says the ATV's wheels ended up on top of her. Her hip was badly hurt, but she says her mind was on her baby. And I started screaming because I could feel, you know, my stomach. And I was really telling him that I'm pregnant. Please get it off of me. Once the ATV was off, big man, she says the driver, a complete stranger, tried to take off without a word. But she was able to pull out her cell phone and capture this video before he was able to speed away. I caught a video because I didn't want to give out a wrong description because it happened so fast. Big Man and Morales are hopeful someone recognizes the man. She's grateful she's still pregnant and her baby appears to be okay. She's hopeful she'll soon be able to return home where she will have to use a walker because of her injuries. We're just going to see how we can move forward and build from here. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News. Well, thefts are on the rise in Billings, it seems. A doorbell camera recently captured an ATV being stolen. And thanks to a program launched this year, Billings police are using more home security video to solve crimes like this. Kitu's Charlie Kleps has more in tonight's Crime Watch. It's in this field where Trevor O'Banion's trailer and razor used to sit. Instead, when he returned from Denver this past weekend, he found this. The broken remnants of that trailer, evidence that his razor had been stolen. But fortunately for him, it isn't the only evidence he's been able to find. It's like somebody kicks you right in the guts. Trevor O'Banion knows exactly how it feels to have something stolen. The razor is something that me and my family do together. And knowing that somebody broke the lock off the trailer and hooked up to it now is who know, doing who knows what with it. This doorbell camera video shows that shocking moment as it was happening last Friday. While the quality isn't great, you can clearly see his razor hitched to the white pickup driving away. It's a whole new level of anger. 
That surveillance video from a neighbor's home and these different pictures are exactly the type of evidence Billings police are looking for with their new project, Eyes on the Block. It's getting some traction. The guys are starting to use it. And it's great to have access to it. It helps the case. It helps us identify people in the long run. The program kicked off earlier this year and Lieutenant Matthew Linick says 360 people or businesses have signed up, volunteering to share their surveillance video as helpful evidence. We're taking the next step to make it easier to use and then the easier we make it to use, the more it'll get utilized. And that video is already being put to good use, most recently following the shooting at Barry's Cherries Carnival last month, when a man was killed and dozens of potential suspects of interest fled the scene. We were looking for more video. Um, I know that they found some videos that kind of helped them piece together uh, where some of the people of interest or some involved parties had gone after. For O'Banion, it hasn't paid off yet, but he says with the help of BPD and Facebook, he's gotten close to finding the culprits. Without the people that have reached out to me, I, there's no way I would have the information that I do now. Very thankful to have the police department and their resources. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News. It may be only spring, but a thick layer of smoke already blanketing much of the state. It is coming from Canada as as many as 150 active fires are burning across Alberta and British Columbia. That smoke is now surging into Montana. Check out this video. This is Lake McDonald in Glacier National Park. You can barely see the lake right now from that park camera. And here's a look at downtown Miles City where thick smoke is lingering above the community. You can see it there in the background. All of it though doesn't compare to parts of eastern Montana where this smoke is making visibility extremely difficult. You can see that from this shot in Glen dive end of the Yellowstone River. Well, for the very latest on air quality in our area, we'll head it over to meteorologist Ed McIntosh for the very latest. Here's a live look for the Stockton Bank weather cam. You can see some of the haze remaining over Billings here at this hour. But compare that. This is the Rock Springs area. We're going to bring that one up. That's between Miles City and Jordan, where the visibility is really low. And it has been all the way since this morning. Just smoke that continues to push down and across, especially the eastern plains. Here's how it looks as far as visibility goes. Well, we have a few problems off towards the west. Check out visibility two and a half miles in Forsyth, Sheridan. You're about five miles right now, a mile and a quarter, and that's actually improved for you in Miles City and one mile around Baker. That's just part of the problem. Air quality issues, especially into the Eastern Plains, use care if you have respiratory problems. There will soon be a new place to receive medical care on the Billings West End. The new Intermountain Health West End Clinic, formerly known as St. Vincent, finishing up some final touches and it will open its doors this summer. And today an exciting announcement was made. Three gynecological specialists were recruited in an effort to expand comprehensive gynecological oncology care. It's an effort to grow women's services and cancer care. Intermountain Health says until the space is filled with primary care patients, it will house new recruits. Outside of Yellowstone Medical Center, this would be our, our largest clinic. This is a 60,000 square foot space. Primary care will occupy about 24,000 of the, of the 60,000 square feet. Probably around uh, 25,000 primary care lives once we're um, completely full. The new clinic is set to open June 26. Now to another shocking kind of crime that could hit your backyard. Nationwide, dog nappings are up 40%. In many cases, the animals are being swiped right from people's backyards. And Billings isn't immune. Tonight, our Alina Howder introduces us to a family who says their dog was stolen just feet away from them and actually held for ransom. This is Freya finally reunited with her family three weeks after being stolen from their south side backyard and getting her back was no easy task as the family then became a target for scammers. Four-year-old Freya wasn't sniffing around for any trouble. Freya! But trouble found Freya on April 19th at her south side home. My mom got home 20 minutes before I did and our gate was open. Both of our dogs were gone. Allie, who wishes to share only her first name for safety reasons, did everything she was supposed to to try and get her pups back. 
Immediately we jumped on to the lost and found Billings animal groups and started posting in there. Those posts to Facebook were both a blessing and a curse. One neighbor found her other pit bull nearby and returned him, but the search for Freya wouldn't be so easy. We had a few scammers try to reach out to us, a couple of them asking for verification codes, trying to get us to send them money, a lot of out of state numbers. One asked for a hundred, another asked for a thousand. Freya was stolen. In total, Allie says five scammers reached out to them hoping to get cash for Freya's return. At that point, Allie got Billings police involved and they tracked down the thief. They found out that she called animal control and had them take the dog from her property to the pound. Allie was reunited with Freya three weeks later, but unfortunately, incidents like this are on the rise. <laughs> According to the American Kennel Club, dog nappings are up 40% since 2021. Here in Billings, police investigated 15 cases of stolen animals in 2022 and 22 cases in 2021. Definitely more in the last two years than ever before. Ashley Burling is the operations manager at Help for Homeless Pets in Billings. We noticed it was more common because more people are calling. You know, they'll call and say, hey, my dog is missing. It was stolen out of my yard. Have you seen it? Experts recommend microchipping your dog, something Allie will now be doing with Freya, and she hopes others will heed her warning. If the situation does happen, please reach out to all of the lost and found animal groups, call the animal shelters, even make a report with the police. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News. It's the end of an era for one popular Billings restaurant. After 40 years in business, Gussick's restaurant on Billings West End near King Avenue is shutting down. The bar and casino will remain open. The staff did send out a thanks on Facebook to the entire community for supporting them throughout the years. The last day for the restaurant will be Saturday, May 27th. But when one door closes, another one opens. The new Sierra Trading Post, which brands itself as an off-price retailer, recently opened on May 13th on King Avenue. The clothing and merchandise retailer is located in the old Big Bear location. Sierra is one of three stores operating in the building, with Petco and Home Goods also calling that location home. Still to come on the MTN 530 News on Q2, in full bloom, we'll head out and about to one of Billings' best-kept secrets, bursting with colors and beautiful displays. And in sports, as the Special Olympics kick off in Bozeman, we'll hear why they are so important here in Billings. That story coming up in just a bit.